Hello YouTube, I'm Fanin. Welcome back to a series of programming tutorials on Java. In this tutorial, we're gonna talk about operators in Java. Well, let me open my edit plus. There are eight types of operators in Java language and they are well you can remember them like this A R I'm gonna say what this all means in a few minutes R La So remember them as Alabix. A R L A B I C S. A stands for arithmetic operators. Arithmetic operators. Oh, let's don't go for the spelling man. R stands for relational operators. L stands for logical operators. A stands for assignment operators. B stands for bitwise operators. I stands for increment or decrement operators. Or decrement operator. C stands for conditional operator. and S stands for some special operator we're gonna see uh, okay now let's talk about all these operators individually first let's talk about the arithmetic operator well we all know max right so in max we know some operators like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and modulus. Well, these are all the arithmetic operators present in Java. As we know, the addition operators adds to value, subtraction operator subtract one value from another multiplication operator well they just multiply a value two values division operator it divides uh, the numerator from denominator and returns the quotient of the quotient of the result to the left hand side well, the modulus operator is pretty similar to the division operator, but it returns the remainder of the division. For example, uh, let us take uh, A equals 6 divided by 2. So, we are using a division operator. In, in this case, the value of a will be 3 a equals 3 in this case because uh, 6 divides uh, 2 divides 6 in 3 times so the value of a is 3 if we are gonna use a 
modulus operator for this 6 modulus 2 the value of b will be 0 because 6 modulus of 2 the remainder will be 0 so that's the difference between a modulus operator and a division operator well, I'm not going to give any example about the addition, subtraction, or multiplication because we all know quite a bit about them. Okay, now let's talk about relational operators. The relational operators determine the relationship between uh, one operand uh, to the other operand. Well, well, you can understand in in a few minutes. Let me say what are the type of operators present in here. We have equal operator, uh, not equals, not equal operator, greater than operator, less than operator, greater than equals operator less than equals operator I'm sorry less uh, less than equals operator so these are all the operators that we have in relational the relational operator operates on two operands it compares the value between the two operands the left hand side operand and the right hand side operand and returns a boolean value for example consider the equals operator example uh, let us take certain values like a equals 2 and b equals 3. Now if we use a equals operator, uh, we are going to use it in some if condition but we haven't learned about all this control statements so I'm just uh, using this in just an expression so, so what happens here means the equals operator compares the value of a with b and if both the values are equal that is both the values are same then it's gonna return a true a true else false in this case since both the values are not equal the output will be a false and not equals operator is quite similar to equals uh, just quite opposite of equals let's say in here a is not equals to b a not equals B that's true so the output will be true means not of equals means both the values are not equal uh, suppose let us consider if A equals for let us consider B equals to then both the values are same in this case the output output will be false so I think you understand understand both these cases and greater than less than less than greater than equal to and less than equal to are same as simple max operator uh, max that means or mathematics operator it gonna compare the left hand side operator well, the 
index of this expression is a greater than b it's going to compare the value of the lhs operate operand with the value of rhs operand and if the condition that is the relation between the two operand is greater than uh, for example if a is greater than b then it's going to return true else it's going to return false similarly the less than well the greater than equal to will compare the value will compare two cases that is if a is greater than or a is equal to for example in this case a is not greater than b so it will return a false first suppose let us consider a third operand c equals uh, 2 so and if we compare a and c here in this case it will be a true because we have an expression equals to the operator equals to so in this case this operator does two things first it will look whether the LHS operand is greater than the uh, RHS operand and if it is not greater than then it will look for whether it is equals to if it is equals to then it will then it will return for true if it is greater than it will return true that is it is okay the LHS operand and the RHS okay now let's look at the logical operator well, the two main logical operators widely used are logical AND and logical OR. That is, this is logical AND and this is logical OR. Well, this is a symbol present uh, on top of the enter key when you press shift and the and the pipe symbol over it will get the logical or these operators are used to join two relational operators that means we have seen the relational operators for example uh, we want to check two conditions for if uh, let us consider a equals 2 and b equals 3 and c equals 4 we want to check uh, the maximum whether a is maximum than b and c that is a is greater than b and c we can do it in two cases where a greater than b and a greater than sorry, a greater than b and a greater than c well we have to compare we have to uh, for example let's put this in if if we're gonna learn about if control statements in the next tutorial but let's be patient about it and let's look at the logical operator now so if we wanna if we want to see whether a is greater than b and c we have to follow two if statements but we can just simply write this to ignore this the second if and write it along the first if inside the condition like this well enclose this in brackets 
and then just write and operate logical and so this compares the two relations and uh, greater than greater than that is it will return true if both the condition this condition and this condition are true let me give you a logical table for and similarly we can uh, use the or operator the or operator also we can use it over here uh, let's look at the logical table for and but suppose we consider two operands um, the first operator over here and the second operator over here that is this is the first operator and this is the second operator what happens if we use logical and and what happens if we use logical or if the first operator returns a true and the second operator sorry I want to give okay uh, and the second operator also returns a true then the logical and will return a true will return a true and the logical or also will return a true if the first relational the first relation operator uh, the expression say the expression returns a true and the second and the second relational operator returns a false then the and operator the logical and combining these two operator will return a false and the or operator will return a true and if the first operator returns a false and the second operator what is this relational operator returns a true then the logical and operator will return a false and the logical or operator will return a true similarly if both the operators uh, similarly if both the relational operators returns false 